Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Thursday, September 9th. Uh, great to be with you today. Pray you had a great Wednesday yesterday. Uh, we're focusing on this idea of work, on labor, on and the purpose behind it all and how it's hidden in God. And that that's a good thing could, because we can't know it. We can't know the all the whys, huh? Uh, and and that strong, we struggle with that sometimes because we want to always be in the place of God. That's part of our sinful nature. Um, but we are who we are. We're called to trust God that He in His that He has everything in His purpose, uh, and that we're called by His grace into His purpose uh, to to do life in Him and with Him, uh, and that through that His, his purpose will be fulfilled. Um, so I'm just going to read a, a, a couple of uh, verses uh, and and talk about them. Now, and today the idea is that um, this means me, <laughs> and this means you, right? Uh, no matter who we are, uh, God has gifted us, uh, and he has put us in a place, and he has given us various callings. Uh, uh, the, the easiest way to look at that is, is uh, am I married? Uh, my husband or wife called to love and cherish them, and my mother or father, my son or daughter. Uh, you know, various callings in our lives. Uh, uh, am I a teacher? Am I a student? Um, uh, and, and so he's given, put all those callings in our lives, uh, the place where we work, uh, as far as if, if the avocations uh, that, that we have, uh, and, and so all those places. But, but also he gives us callings, and he gives us the calling of Christian over everything, right? And in each one of those places, we live as who we are in him and in the purpose that he gives us in him. Uh, and so and he, he guides us in that reality to... To, to, to love our neighbor as ourselves uh, and, and, and what that looks like. Um, uh, so, so and, and to be part of his kingdom work uh, through his people, all, all those things. Um, and this is all part of our work, right? And all part of the way that, that God's will is, is uh, his purpose in our lives is carried out uh, as, as we walk in him and work in him to his glory with all of our might, with, with all of our heart, huh? Uh, and, and so this idea of, of each one of us can get lost sometimes when we talk like that. So I, I just want to, just this is a very short verse from Ephesians. It says, but to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. And so, you know, what comes before this? It says here, make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. So it's, it's talking about unity with all of them. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called, and one hope uh, when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. So you have all these all things going on, right? The family of God, the people of God, the, the all those things, huh? And yet here it says, now to each one, to each one of us, grace has been given. And other places in Scripture it says now to each one a, a gift of God has been given to to bless uh, the the the, the uh, other Christians around them, whatever it might be. To each one, and, and and this idea of God that that He um that He gives us with different things in different ways, uh, and and for the good of those around us, uh, it's it's part of His His purpose revealed, His creative hand in doing that. Uh, not all of us have it. Not any of us have everything. We all need one another uh, in in the people of God and, and in our world, in, in our life together. In in First Corinthians, it says, uh, "What after?" And it, you have to, Apollos is a guy here, so it, you'll see what I mean. What after all is Apollos, and what is Paul? So, what are these two people? They both worked in the kingdom work in proclaiming the gospel. Only servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord assigned to each his task. And he talks about how one watered, uh, how one watered, how one planted, how one harvested. The idea here is each of us has our work to do, and God works uh, his purpose and will through each of them. Here in this case with Apollos and Paul and so forth, um, he, he was working his, his will, his purpose, so that others might be part of the kingdom. Uh, but, but they don't know that the other is even doing it. Right, uh, and and so they have to trust that God's purpose is being worked out, as as they're called to use who God has made them and where He has put them and how He guides their life in a certain situation. It's really powerful stuff, uh, and and it 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 shows to you that each one of us is part of this plan of God, uh, and, and with the work we do, God brings through good stuff. Uh, in in Philippians it says, "It is God who works in you." to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. 
And that's true for every single one of us. Uh, he gives each of us gifts. He gives each of us abilities. Um, he gives each of us time. Uh, he gives us these things. He, he gives each of us money uh, to be used uh, for his glory, for the good of his kingdom, uh, to be used in many ways. Uh, and he guides us in how we use these things uh, in, in, in every way. Uh, we run into a struggle where we start to try to purpose out for ourselves how we should use these things. God has a purpose. He guides us. We're called to walk by faith uh, in everything that God has given us and whom he has made us uh, for his glory and our good. Uh, would, would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, we thank you that, uh, that you know every single one of us by name. I have called you by name. You are mine. You know who we are. You know the gifts you have given us. You know the abilities you have given us. You know everything that you have given to us so that as you guide our lives to your word and spirit in the work that we do uh, and the efforts that we expend, you all would be done to your purpose uh, for the good of many and for your glory. We pray, Lord, that we might humble ourselves, receive your guide into our life in every aspect of our work, uh, and know the joy that it all has meaning and purpose um, because that's it all relates to your meaning and your purpose uh, that, 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 that flows from eternity to eternity. I pray in your name. Amen. Okay, well, uh, see you uh, hopefully this weekend and then um, next week as well. May God be with you. Bye-bye.